Hi everybody, welcome to the full moon in Scorpio. <sighs> I don't know about you, but it's been a doozy. Um, it's been very intense and there's been a lot of people around me being put through the ringer. And even though I haven't been, um, sorry, mozzies, it's actually, yeah, tropical Hawaii here. And after some rain, hundreds and hundreds of mosquitoes. So, uh, and I don't like to use products, so I have to go get my oils out to help dispel them. Uh, so, yes, um, back to the point in hand, which is the Scorpio full moon that took place today. Um, oh my God, I hope you've been hanging on to your hats. If you haven't been put through the ringer, you probably will be. But usually the intensity for a full moon is one of those ones where it's, um, it builds literally to the peaking of the, the culmination of the fullness of the moon. And this particular full moon, of course, is about Scorpio, which is about the underworld, those deeper, darker, quieter, less discussed aspects of self that are being brought to the light. So for those who have Scorpio in their chart, um, you know, either a Scorpio sun sign, a Scorpio moon, a Scorpio ascendant, or the personal planets in Scorpio. Now, the personal planets are the ones that are closest to the Earth and the Sun. So essentially, that'll be Mercury, Mars and Venus. So if you have any of those in Scorpio, chances are you're being affected quite significantly. So um, enough on that. I'm just going to draw a card. It's been very big and um, I hope you've been taking time out to look after yourselves because, yes, it's been really huge. And here's a card that might help you get through this crazy maelstrom of tumultuous energy. I keep wanting to use the term volatile, but I can't because it's not, there's no violence in it. It's just intense and tumultuous, like a, a rumbling a volcano and earthquakey kind of energy underneath us. Here we are, the beautiful card of trust. So this card, while I'm chasing mosquitoes still, uh, this card is fundamentally asking us to really trust who we are, where we're at, what's going on for us, and know that if we really allow ourselves to drop in deeply, we can actually fly through this experience with ease and grace. And if we're not flying through it because we feel like we're being tugged at or pulled at or pushed and pulled by other people's energy, maybe it's time to come home back into that center of self and know that you can move through this and it will be sa you will be safe and you will be okay. And um, the time period usually is um, you know, a two-week time frame before the next new moon. So yeah, just being present to yourself, being gentle on yourself and being gentle on those that matter to you as well. If you're not gentle on them, it will come back at you because they will be the ones who will probably flash off. And um, yeah, best to stay as centered and as grounded as possible and trust that you're in the right place. Trust that you can fly through this. And you probably will. Much love, everybody. Until next time. Take care. Bye.